Hamid bin Khalifa Al Thani is a member of the ruling Al Thani Qatari royal family. He was the ruling Emir of Qatar from 1995 to 2013. Hamid seized power in a bloodless palace coup d'état copyright tat in 1995. During his 18 year rule, Qatar's natural gas production reached 77 million tons, making Qatar the richest country in the world per capita with the average income in the country $86,440 US dollars a year per person. During his reign several sports and diplomatic events took place in Qatar, including 2006 Asian Games, 2012 UN Climate Change Conference, Doha Agreement, Hamasa Euro Fata Doha Agreement and it was decided that the 2022 FIFA World Cup was to be held in the country. He established the Qatar Investment Authority. By 2013 it had invested over $100 billion around the world, most prominently in the Shard, Barclays Bank, Heathrow Airport, Harrods, Paris Saint-Germain FC, Volkswagen, Siemens and Royal Dutch Shell. During Hamid's rule, Qatar hosted two U.S. military bases. It also remained close with Hamas and Iran. He supported and funded rebel movements, particularly in Libya and Syria during the Arab Spring while maintaining political stability at home. The Sheikh founded news media group Al Jazeera, through which he maintained his influence over the Arab world. He also played a part in negotiations between U.S. and the Taliban. In June 2013 Hamid in his brief televised address announced that he would hand power to his 34-year-old son, Tamim bin Hamid Al Thani. Early years and education, Hamid was born 1952. His mother died soon after the birth and he was raised by his uncle. He graduated from the British Royal Military Academy at Songhurst in 1971 and commissioned as a lieutenant colonel. After graduation he was made commander of a mobile brigade, which later became a force called Hamid Brigade. In 1972 Hamid had the rank of general, and became Army Chief of Staff. Next he was appointed Commander-in-Chief of Qatar's Armed Forces with the rank of Major General. In 1977 he was named Minister of Defense. Hamid was appointed Heir Apparent of Qatar in 1977 and held the post until 1995. In the early 1980s, he led the Supreme Planning Council, which sets Qatar's basic economic and social policies. From 1992 Hamid had a growing responsibility for the day-to-day -day running of the country, including the development of Qatar's oil and natural gas resources. On June 27, 1995, after deposing his father in a palace coup, Hamid became Emir of Qatar and was crowned on June 20, 2000. Reign, in the early 1980s, Hamid led the Supreme Planning Council, which sets Qatar's basic economic and social policies. Starting in 1992, Hamid's father handed over responsibility for the day-to-day -day running of the country, including the development of Qatar's oil and natural gas resources. With the support of his family, Hamid took control of the country in 1995 while his father was on vacation abroad. While his father Khalifa bin Hamid El Thani was in Geneva, Switzerland, Hamid bin Khalifa deposed him in a bloodless coup d'état copyright tat. Hamid bin Khalifa engaged an American law firm to freeze his father's bank accounts abroad, thereby defeating a possible counter coup. Thereafter, his father lived in exile in France and Abu Dhabi until he returned to Qatar in 2004. In a break with a traditional role, his second wife Sheikha Mozar bin Nasser al Mishand has been a visible advocate for education and children's causes. A sportsman and an accomplished diver, Hamid has played an active role in promoting and developing athletics in Qatar. His activism has enhanced the country's involvement and performance in a number of international competitions, including, winning an Olympic medal in track and field. Hosting a wide variety of international sporting events such as the 15th Asian Games, GCC, Asian and World Youth Soccer Championships and initiating the Qatar Open Tennis Championship which has grown to become one of two premier tennis competitions in the Middle East. Under his rule the Qatari government helped to fund the Al Jazeera News Network by an Amiri decree. In an analysis of Al Jazeera, 
Humal said that diplomats from other countries know that the Emir is the real power behind Al Jazeera but he also quotes a network spokesman denying countless times this accusation, adding that many independent news sources also have subsidies from their respective governments without this implying editorial dabbling and explaining that trying to coerce the kind of journalists Al Jazeera has would be like trying to herd cats. Sheikh Hamad is a distant cousin of the network chairman, Hamad bin Namar Al Thani, who was previously Minister of Information in the Emir Al Thani government. Following the initial US$137 million US dollars grant from Emir Al Thani, Al Jazeera had aimed to become self sufficient through advertising by 2001, but when this failed to occur, the Emir agreed to several consecutive loans on a year by year basis. At an October 3, 2001 press conference, Colin Powell tried to persuade Sheikh Hamid to shut down Al Jazeera while the New York-based organization Fairness and Accuracy in Reporting commented that in those efforts, Powell and other U.S. officials were reportedly upset by the channel re-airing old interviews with bin Laden and the inclusion of guests that are too critical of the United States on its programs. The Washington Post reported in 2005 that Sheikh Hamid was under pressure to privatize the network. On June 25, 2013 Hamid handed over power to his son Tamim in a televised speech. In regards to the shift in power, Hamid said, the time has come to open a new page in the journey of our nation that would have a new generation carry the responsibilities. Achievements, under his reign, the country won the right to stage the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Doha, the first event of its kind to occur in the Middle East. Under the patronage of Hamid and his wife Sheikha Mozar bin Nasser al Misnad, several world class academic institutions have opened campuses in Doha, including Carnegie Mellon University, Georgetown University, Northwestern University, Texas A&M University, and Real Cornell Medical College. Arts In the arts, Hamid established the Qatar Museum's Authority in 2005, which built the IMP designed Museum of Islamic Art Doha. Since opening, Qatar has become the world's biggest contemporary art buyer, famously purchasing car copyright Zans the card players in 2012 for over $250 million US dollars. The museum authority sponsored Takashi Murakami's EGO exhibit in Doha which ran from February 9 to June 24, 2012. Damien Hirst's retrospective at Tate Modern in spring and summer 2012 and his upcoming exhibition Relic slated to open in Doha in October 2013. In July 2013, in conjunction with Muraxia Prada and the Prada Foundation, QMA launched Curate, a global search for curatorial talent. Additionally, the Doha Film Institute was established in 2009 which in partnership with the Tribeca Film Festival, created the Doha Tribeca Film Festival that ran from 2009 to Euro 2012. The Doha Film Institute is producing Salma Hayek's upcoming animated adaptation of Khalil Gibran's classic novel The Prophet, with Lion King director Roger Ailes coordinating the process. DFI is also credited as a production company on several other films, including Just Like a Woman starring Sienna Miller, The Reluctant Fundamentalist directed by Myra Nair which opened 69th Venice International Film Festival and Kanai West's Cruel Summer a Euro a short film which shot in Doha and premiered during the 2012 Cannes Film Festival. In February 2013, they announced a $100 million feature film fund with Participant Media, a production company founded by billionaire Jeffrey Skoll, who was the first employee and also first president of internet auction firm eBay. Economy In 2005, under the direction of Hamid and the former Prime Minister of Qatar Sheikh Hamid bin Jassim bin Jabba al Thani, the Qatar Investment Authority was established, a sovereign wealth fund to manage the country's oil and natural gas surpluses. The Qatar Investment Authority and its subsidiaries have acquired many businesses abroad, including London's iconic department store Harrods from entrepreneur Mohamed El Fayed, Paris based department store Prince, French football club Paris Saint Germain FC, a former 10% stake in Porsche, a 75% stake in film studio Miramax which they acquired from Disney, a 2% stake in media conglomerate and universal music group parent company Vivendi, a $100 million USD investment in Chernin Group a Euro, whose founder Peter Chernin was COO of News Corporation and president of Fox, a 1% stake in
luxury goods manufacturer Louis Vuitton Moti Hennessy, a 6% stake in Credit Suisse, a 12.6% stake in Barclays and several other major companies. They also backed Glencore's $31 billion USD takeover bid for Xstrata. Qatar is the largest property owner in London with their holdings including Europe's tallest building the Shard, Olympic Village and Park Lane's Intercontinental Hotel. They also own several hotels in Cannes including the Majestic Hotel, Grand Hyatt Cannes Hartel Martinez and Carlton Hotel. QIA was considered to have one of the leading bids in the sales of both Anschutz Entertainment Group and Hulu. As of May 2013, it was reported the investment authority is in talks to purchase Neyman Marcus and Bergdorf Goodman. Sheikh Hamad is famous for helping to establish the first Arab international news network, Al Jazeera, when he provided a loan of 500 million Qatari reals to sustain Al Jazeera through its first five years. In October 2012, Hamad made a historic visit to Gaza and pledged 400 million US dollars in humanitarian aid to Hamas to build infrastructure projects and hospitals. Despite Qatar's ties to Hamas, they maintain diplomatic and business relations with Israel. Sheikh Hamad provided financial and material support to opposition rebels in both the Libyan civil war, which led to the overthrow of Muammar Gaddafi, and the ongoing Syrian civil war which seeks to oust President Bashar al-Assad. It has been reported that he has also provided support to jihadist organizations such as Ansar Dine and the Movement for Unity and Jihad in West Africa, who are fighting for independence in the northern Mali conflict, as well as the al-Nusra Front in Syria. On June 25, 2013, Hamad announced he would be handing over power to his 33-year-old son Sheikh Tamim. The move was seen as groundbreaking for the Middle East, where leaders typically stay in office until their death. Foreign Relations The Emir made a $100 million donation for the relief of New Orleans following the 2005 Hurricane Katrina. He was a key person in the ceasefire during the 2006 Lebanon War and contributed majorly in the relief of damaged areas. In 2012, the Emir proposed deploying Arab troops to reduce killings in the Syrian civil war. He provided two military bases for foreign troops, al adiyad Air Base and Campus Salia. Despite the prevalence of anti-Israel sentiment within the Arab world, he had previously maintained friendly relations with Israel. He met Foreign Minister of Israel's Pilevni in New York City. This marked the first real attempt by any leader in the Persian Gulf to pursue dialogue with Israel. However, Qatar severed diplomatic ties with Israel in 2009 in response to Israel's actions during the Gaza War. The Emir has also expressed his objection to Israeli settlement policy, especially the Judaization of Jerusalem. Visit to Gaza In October 2012, the Emir made a landmark visit to Gaza by being the first head of state to go there since the 2006 election of Hamas and the imposition of a blockade by Israel. He took a flight to Egypt before being driven into Gaza. While there, the Emir was thought to be launching a $254 million reconstruction project in the territory, and giving an address to the Palestinian people. Palestine's Interior Ministry was said to have a well-prepared plan to provide security for the Emir during his stay. Incidents nevertheless continued. Criticism and allegations of support to U.S.-designated terrorist organizations in December 2012, the New York Times accused the Qatari government of funding the Al-Nusra Front, a U.S. government-designated terrorist organization. Others have noted the Emir's visit to Gaza and meeting with Hamas, which houses a militant wing, Izad Din al-Qassam brigades. In January 2013, French politicians again accused the Emir's government of giving material support to Islamist groups in Mali and the French newspaper Le Canard Enca registered trademark NAR copyright quoted an unnamed source in French military intelligence saying that the MNLA, Al-Qaeda linked Ansar Dine and MUJAO have all received cash from Doha. Marriages and Children Sheikh Hamad has three wives and 24 children, 11 sons and 13 daughters. He married his first wife Sheikha Maryam bint Muhammad El Thani, who is the daughter of his first cousin, Sheikh Muhammad bin Hamad bin Abdullah El Thani. Hamad and his first wife have two sons and six daughters, Sheikh Mashal bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Fahd bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, 
Sheikh Esha bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Mashal bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Fatima bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Rauda bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Hassa bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Sarah bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, a Euro program coordinator for Reach Out to Asia Qatar. His second wife is Sheikh Mozar bint Nasser Al Mishand, the daughter of Nasser bin Abdullah Al Mishand. Together they have five sons and two daughters, Sheikh Jazim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani a Euro heir apparent of Qatar until 2003, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Prince of Qatar a Euro heir apparent of Qatar, current Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Al Mayasa bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Joan bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Mohammed bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Ahain bint Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani a Euro Director of the Emir's Office since 2009. Hamad also has a third wife, Sheikh Anora bint Khalid Al Thani, daughter of Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Thani, who was the Minister of the Interior. Together they have four sons and five daughters, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani a Euro President of the Al Rayyan Sports Club, Sheikh Thani bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Al Kak bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Al Lulwa bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Mahab bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Adana bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Al Anad bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Sheikh Maryam bin Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani. Titles, Styles and Honors, Titles and Styles, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, his Excellency Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, heir apparent of Qatar, 1977 a Euro 1995, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, Emir of the State of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the Father Emir, honors and awards, Sheikh Hamad received numerous honors and awards, both during and before his time as Emir, National Orders, Pakistan. Nishani Pakistan, Spain, Collar of the Order of Isabella the Catholic, Albania. Skanda Beg's Order, Austria, Grand Star of the Decoration of Honor for Services to the Republic of Austria, Kartiedva, Collar of the Greater Star, Croatia, Knight Grand Cross of the Grand Order of King Tomislav, Cuba, Member of the Order of Joseph Copyright Marti, Dominican Republic, Grand Cross with Gold Breast Star of the Order of Merit of Dewart. Sanchez and Mella, Egypt, Grand Cordon of the Order of the Nile, Finland, Grand Cross with Collar of the Order of the White Rose of Finland, France, Grand Cross of the Legion of Honor, France, Grand Officer of the Legion of Honor, Germany, Grand Cross First Class of the Order of Merit of the Federal Republic of Germany, Greece, Grand Cross of the Order of the Redeemer, Indonesia, Pagam Tandra Italy. Knight Grand Cross of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic, Jordan, Collar of the Order of Al Hussein bin Ali, Lebanon, Grand Cordon of the National Order of the Cedar, Lebanon, Grand Cordon of the Lebanese Order of Merit, Macedonia, Order of September 8, Malta, National Order of Merit, Morocco, Member Special Class of the Order of Muhammad, Morocco, Member First Class of the Order of Muhammad, Netherlands, Grand Cross of Order of the Netherlands Lion, Oman, Member of the Order of Merit, Oman, Member Special Class of the Order of Oman, Philippines, Order of Lacangela, Portugal, Grand Officer of the Order of Infanti de Enrique, Romania, Sash Rank of the Order of the Star of Romania, Saudi Arabia, Member Special Class of the Order of Abdulaziz Al Saud, Senegal, Grand Cross of the Order of the National Lion, Tunisia, Medal of November 7, United Kingdom. Honorary Knight Grand Cross of the Order of St. Michael and St. George, Venezuela, Grand Collar of the Order of The Liberator, Venezuela, Recipient of the Order of Francisco de Miranda, Yemen, Recipient of the Order of the Republic, Other Awards, Honorary Citizen of Tirana, Capital of Albania, IAAF, Golden Order of Merit, Foreign Policy Magazine Top 100 Global Thinker, Fulfilling the Leadership Vacuum in the Middle East. Sports investments, media sources claim that Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani made a bid for Manchester United on February 11, 2011.
Qatari Holdings offered a £1.65 billion to Malcolm Glazer, the current American owner of the club. This follows a series of endeavours by the Emir and other Qataris into the world football community, following Qatar's successful bid for the 2022 World Cup, and the Qatar Foundation's recent A125 million pounds shirt deal with FC Barcelona. In mid-June 2011, rumours resurfaced that Qatari Holdings were preparing a A2 billion pounds takeover bid and that the funding, that the club had been using for transfers since the start of June, was actually supplied by the Qataris and not the Glazer family. In 2012 it was rumoured that Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani was in bid for Rangers FC on March 30, 2012 Sheikh Al Thani offered to buy KF Tirana, although the details have yet to be published. See also List of the richest royals, references External links, Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani collected news and commentary at Al Jazeera English Genealogy of the Al Thani Dynasty, page 7 A Euro website RoyalArc.net, Denver Post article on His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani and his rise to power, Stargate photo of Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa's yacht number 1, Constellation photo of Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa's yacht number 2, Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani at the Internet Movie Database.